Well, for the past seven years now, the CHI Health St. Francis Foundation has been awarding grants to rural fire departments to help them acquire equipment and gear they otherwise couldn't afford. Local 4's Leroy Triggs joins us now after paying a visit to Giltner today. He joins us now with more. Spencer, today I spoke with Giltner Fire and Rescue Chief Bradley Consbrook. He says that St. Francis sends an email for departments to apply for their Ticket to Win program. They applied to receive an uh, aid obtaining a new jaws of life. It wasn't in their budget this year because they're still paying on a new fire station. But they were awarded $5,000 to purchase a new jaws of life. Their current jaws of life is operating on a hydraulic unit and applies only 5,000 pounds of pressure. Conrad says in the past, they have held fundraisers and saved money to obtain a new jaws of life. That new Jaws of Life will be battery operated and twice the power of the equipment they have. He says that the new Jaws of Life is necessary because when they're dispatched, time is of the essence. Well, the need for newer Jaws of Life, just like everything else um, in the world, if you don't maintain things and upgrade as needed, um, they just become outdated and you can't get parts. Um, it's more likely to fail on a call and we don't want that. So. Um, it, when we're dispatched to a car accident, seconds matter. Consberg says in that situation, the faster they can get set up, they can get a person out of a vehicle, and the outcome will be much better. He says that with, he says with the hydraulic jaws, they must switch out gear every time that they change tools and change hydraulic lines as well. But with this new battery-operated jaws of life, they'll be able to spring right into action after arriving on scene. But they unfortunately won't get that new equipment until this fall. Spencer, back to you.